This is why I hate birthdays right here. He does not like surprises. And Ryan ruined my birthday <laughs> because he couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> That's why they didn't call it Plymouth Mountain though, right? Right, That's a good like point. Plymouth, Plymouth Peak. Right. Plymouth How'd you I, know it was Plymouth Rock? And then they called Because he told me. <laughs> everybody welcome to today's vlog i'm jill this is it's the donnelly's it is thanksgiving week and i have returned home from flying i'm a flight attendant and i am back in florida our kids are back from college brendan and katie returned from florida state and ryan who's a senior in high school is on thanksgiving break and mike my husband his birthday is next week so yesterday brendan and katie and i contrived this cockamamie plan that we thought wow it would be really fun since we're not gonna be here for dad's birthday, because they'll be back at school and everything and I'll be flying, um, that we would celebrate it today. Today's the day before Thanksgiving. We all have nothing on our agenda. We had planned to go to the beach, but we're like, you know what? Why don't we take advantage of our Southwest flight benefits? Let's just go to the airport and just go anywhere, just the five of us, wherever we can go just for the day. Would it be fun? We'll celebrate Mike's birthday. And then we thought, well, wait a minute, since it's Thanksgiving, let's fly to Plymouth Rock. Like, let's go to the place where the pilgrims landed and it all happened. So we devised this plan. And last night I said to everybody, like I looked up the flights, there were totally enough uh, uh, there's enough space for us to go. We'd have had to leave this morning at 7.30 to get to the airport to get on and the flight and everything. We also would have to convince Mike to go. That was gonna be the hardest part. Even though we were gonna give it to him as a surprise for his birthday, he very he does not like surprises. And oftentimes when we give him a surprise, he either returns it or rejects it. <laughs> so there was a lot riding on this. We weren't exactly sure it was gonna happen. Well. So I told everybody, okay, you guys, I, like I made all these little cards, like these birthday cards for Mike, and I set out the birthday banner and everything ready to put up this morning. But I told the kids, you have to be up at seven o'clock. You have to be up at seven o'clock. Seven forty-five rolls around. I look, I roll, I wake up, I roll over, I look at my my phone. I'm like, it's seven forty-five. Mike's still sleeping. I'm still sleeping. Everybody's still sleeping. So. That plan was completely foiled. I think we're gonna end up going to the beach today, but I, I think I wanna still give it to Mike and see what he says, and maybe we'll do it at a different time, and maybe, I'm not sure. So anyway, our plan was foiled. We slept, we slept through it. In the meantime, you guys, I've decided it's time to start the noodles, the Thanksgiving noodles. So my mom is very famous for making what she calls, or what we refer to as Nana's noodles. And they're basically, um, it's a Thanksgiving staple in our house and it's what everybody longs for. And you can only get a little bit of it because um, if you really ate as much as you wanted to, you'd like scoop a whole thing, but there's only so much to go around. <laughs> when you get your Nana's noodles, you're like, oh my gosh, I got some noodles. So basically what she does is she makes homemade noodles and she boils them in the gravy. And they, so they become sort of like a pot pie noodle. I don't know if you guys know what that is or like a, a little bit like a dumpling, but that's more of a biscuit. This is more of a noodle. Anyway, um, I'm going to attempt to make it. I've only attempted one time before to make the noodles. It did not work out well, but that was, I want to say like 10, 15 years ago. So since Nana Pap aren't with us this Thanksgiving, they're up with my sister. I'm going to attempt to make noodles just for our family. And um, Mike and I were talking about this the other day. He said, he's like, I wonder what one Thanksgiving food item gives people the most rage during Thanksgiving, like to me. And mine 100% is gravy. And we have, we have coined it a uh, term, the term gravy rage. So Jill gets gravy rage when I try to make gravy because it is so difficult to make. So um, now I'm taking it one step further. I'm going to try to make noodles, noodles with gravy. So um, my goal is to not have any rage during Thanksgiving <laughs> tomorrow while I'm cooking it. But I'm supposed to make the noodles now and then I'll roll them out and then you leave them traditionally on top of the washing machine overnight. That's just where a place where we would always store extra food. So we put them on a, a, a tray and leave them there. So they get a little bit dry and then when you cook them, they're not as wet and mushy. So comment down below you guys, if you are making Thanksgiving or if you um, make a dish to bring over or maybe you don't make anything, you just get rage. What is your Thanksgiving rage dish? I'm gonna make the noodles. Let me just give you really quick. Um, I'm halving the um, recipe. So it's one and a half cups of flour, two eggs, a half a tablespoon of water, and a pinch of salt. I'm gonna roll it out um, ideally and then cut it ideally and then put it on a plate to um, get hard overnight on the washing machine. So we were, we were gonna go to the beach today, but it rained. And the boys were gonna play golf today, but it rained. 
So we spent most of the day kind of working, actually, just like Mike fixed a few things. I did some editing. We laid around a little bit, ate, went to the store. We did not do the thing that we thought we were going to do today, which I think I told you guys about this morning, which was go to Plymouth Rock. <laughs> but we decided that we are going to go ahead and share that with Mike anyway and let him know what we were going to do. Also, we are going to play. We want to sit down and play a game, and we played this one before. So much fun this summer, and we decided that Mike, Mike didn't play it when we played it last time, so we're going to have him play it with us, too. Anyway, so stay tuned while you see Mike's reaction to what we were going to do for his birthday. All right, Mike, it's time for us to fess up. Fess up. Uh, it's time for us to fess up. We had a plan today, and the plan... Failed. failed. <laughs> it totally failed. Why did the plan fail, people? Because Ryan likes to sleep too much. What time did you wake up? Like 12. What 11. time did you wake up? That's Cap. You woke up at 1 o'clock. <laughs> I woke up at 11. All right. doesn't matter. It was later than 7. What time did you wake up? Well, with the first time or like well, how many times did I get back to sleep? The first time. The first time I woke up at like 9.30. And you knew. Did you just roll over and go back to bed? Because you're like, well, if, if we're going to go, they expired. already left. It was expired. Yeah. How about you, Katie? Same time as Brennan. Michael John. Yeah. So you plan to go to the beach today. You know what we plan to do? What? Hold on. Are you ready for this? <laughs> we're going to go to Plymouth Rock. <laughs> what? We're going to go to Plymouth Rock. Ryan said we're going to go to Plymouth Rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! yeah! Ryan! Are you serious? Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had this whole thing created for you. I had, we had all these cards. We were going to take you on a trip. Oh, that's nice. Do you want to open them up and see? You know I don't like editing forever. Yeah, and you don't like surprises either. That's why we were all nervous about it. So we thought if he doesn't want to go, and we're not really celebrating your birthday now, but this is what it was supposed to look like. Oh. So this is why we're going to put, you're going to put the hat on. Is that so okay? I only have one hand and none of my kids are helping me over here. So I'll just do this. <laughs> well, I have to do all of it. You said Plymouth You totally gave it up. I didn't say Plymouth Rock. I said Boston. And How'd I, you know I, it was Plymouth Rock? And then they called me. Because he told me. <laughs> and then they called me out and said, don't tell him. <laughs> I said, I may have told him, but I don't. You said you told him Boston. Don't knock that yeah. over, please. This is why I hate birthdays right here. <laughs> because what? Do you wear a silly hat <laughs> and you get presents? It's a dunce hat. All he wants is to choose the dinner and have a cake with extra presents. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> but you always make our birthdays very big. We want to make your birthday big. So we're obviously not doing this. Unless you want to save... But go. The first gift for the birthday boy... <laughs> the boy is... <laughs> mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you. It's very thoughtful. Misplaced but thoughtful. <laughs> Misplaced. All right. Happy birthday. Your birthday gift is day drinking. Uh-huh. That's nice. nice. Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I haven't taken anything. Thank you, sweetie. No, well... Day. Okay, boy number two, that's awesome. And this one is happy birthday. Your birthday gift is blueberry cobbler. Uh huh. Now we're talking. See what I mean? Mm hmm. You might, this might have made you go. Is that around? Oh, you no. didn't. Oh, you didn't make blueberry cobbler. You're gonna go buy it then? <laughs> oh, After I see. Rock. oh, I see. Oh, okay. Blueberry, oh, blueberry cobbler. Uh -huh. All right, and this one is happy birthday. Your birthday gift is a lottery roll, a lobster roll with fries. Excellent. Yes, that's very New England, isn't it? Mm -hmm. that's very good. And this one is number four. This is very thoughtful. Whoever did the cards. Did you get the cards? Yes. Thank Does that you, look sweet. like my handwriting? Thank you. Happy birthday. Your birthday gift is to... Round trip flight. Oh, is a round trip flight. Oh, when is it? Wait, wait. Is it to Plymouth Rock? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan <laughs> totally to sold a bag. To Boston. Oh, <laughs> uh, is is a visit to where Thanksgiving started. Oh, that's really nice to see you guys. Thank you very much. Never happened. 
Never happened. We were all excited. We were going to do, first of all, we wanted to take a trip, the five of us, on our flight benefits. Yes. And that there was a place no that we could go. Yes. All five of us could get on. And we were like, let's take dad to Plymouth Rock. And we'll get lobster rolls and cobbler. And we'll have a date. We'll go there and come back. And you didn't want to go. Well, wait a minute. I never, well. never had the chance. If we would have woken up at 7 this morning, like we were supposed to, oh, would you have gone? Time, so we missed the flight. We yeah. <laughs> we pretty much missed it. It left at 9.10. <laughs> we pretty much missed it. Yeah, we, we thought you wouldn't even want to go, so we were like, I don't know. Would you have wanted to go? That's a delightful, very nice thought. Thank you. I'm happy to be here with my family celebrating Thanksgiving. So, is that a no? You would not have wanted to go? No, I'm bummed out. I <laughs> have you ever been to Plymouth Rock? And Ryan ruined my birthday because he couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> So Not only because he couldn't get out of bed, but he also gave up the surprise. <laughs> he told you what it that's was. Very, that's very nice. Thank you. Maybe we can go get a lobster roll somewhere close. That sounds like a Not good idea. Same. Yeah. We can. A Florida lobster roll is not going. We can go to Key West. We can find a boulder somewhere and pretend it's Plymouth Rock. <laughs> exactly. Do you know that Plymouth Rock is not actually a boulder? Oh, seriously? The rock, it's like this big. Oh, seriously? It's really seriously. small. Isn't that lame? And you I mean, know what? I think it was like a Lion King, like jetty. It's yeah. Like, no, it's a rock. And you stand like on a big, like they have a big deck around it and you look over at it. But oh, that right. still would have been cool. Huh, yeah. You can't touch it? No. I'm not like the Blarney Stone. Yeah. You, it's you literally a rock. Kiss. I kissed it. Yeah. Oh. All right, so we're um, now we're gonna go to the beach and then it rained all day. Probably, so probably, probably this day stinks. This day stinks. The worst. The worst day ever. That's so when? Go, that's why they didn't call it Plymouth Mountain, though, right? Right. That's a good like point. Plymouth, Plymouth, Plymouth Peak. Right. right. Plymouth Rock. Rock. It is a rock. Can't argue that. Plymouth so Plymouth. that's Dad's birthday celebration in a nutshell. Great. Thanks. All right. Man. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So right before Thanksgiving, we are not in Plymouth Rock, but we're in Florida. <laughs> And uh, we're all playing That's Euchre. Huh? We're getting mad at each other playing Euchre. I said, you four can play Euchre because I want to make some cookies because I haven't made cookies in a while. Here's how the first, bat first batch turned yes. out. Got to put those on the thing over here. Kitchen's a mess because we're uh, geared up for Thanksgiving dinner. And then the other one's in the oven right now. So it's going to be a great night here. And I'm gonna hop in and play the winner of whoever wins Euchre. And then we're gonna play some herd mentality. It's gonna be very fun. Stay tuned. Ryan and I are the last two. Everybody else called it quits. Are you gonna go to bed? Yeah, I'm going to bed. I'm gonna go grab one more cookie because I'm starting to use my gas. Where'd you put them? They're in the microwave. Oh, uh, I was gonna say they're not on the thing anymore yeah. on the counter. They were gas. All right, what, what made you happy today, babe? It being Thanksgiving tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, getting to, you know, tell dad our master plan that didn't end up coming true, so I'm sorry. <laughs> and then making cookies and playing the game. It really was fun. nice. Mm -hmm. And you got a lot of the work done today, too. Mm -hmm. We had a good day. Yeah, good it was day. great. It was great. You know, it's actually, we were talking about how we were planning on going to the beach today, like after the whole sleeping yeah. thing. Um, but it rained, and we didn't go to the beach. And sometimes rain creates like even though it like spoils plants sometimes, yeah new opportunities it all totally that. creates yeah, new opportunities fun. anyways you guys are gonna go to the beach tomorrow i'm working tomorrow and then we're all yes. gonna culminate together throw the football eat some good food it's gonna be great it is it's gonna be a great day stay tuned all right you guys thank you so much for watching comment down below made you guys happy today and we can't wait to hear all about your thanksgiving see you later bye Peace.